Good morning to CMC Espresso from the Frankfurt office of uh, CMC Markets. Wow, what a rebound in market prices and what a rebound in a negative sense for gold. Which all came uh, out of nothing for many traders who first didn't really grasp what was behind that move. Actually, it was a real tragic development in the UK. As you might all know, Joe Cox was murdered on the street. And uh, as tragic as that is, it all stopped the Brexit fears for the markets. They believe and they have reason to believe that the referendum could be delayed because the campaigning of all the parties have, has also been delayed. The Sun has stopped its campaign, others have stopped campaigning for or against the Brexit. And so markets have reason to believe that the referendum on next Thursday will also be delayed. Um, that is just an expectation, that's not a fact, but that has some uh, motivated some to go out of their short positions and step into that momentum rally that started yesterday. As you look at the uh, openings of the DAX, um, it opened there where it closed um, late evening yesterday, so there was nothing coming on top of that first um, yeah, reaction. Um, so now it will be interesting to see if the Brexit was just a trigger of the latest correction in stocks or if it was the reason. If it was only the trigger and the reason is a, a different one, then the correction will just continue. If um, the Brexit is the trigger and the reason, then we might stabilize and even um, gain ground from here. Above all of that, um, you have to look at Bank of America, which uh, published a research note. And they found out that stock, uh, funds, funds worldwide, global funds, have their highest cash stacks since the year 2001. So it's even higher than at Lehman Brothers. It's even higher as the Euro crisis in 2012. So it's the highest since 2001. And so sooner or later, it is clear that this money has to be brought back to the markets because fund managers are not there to just store the money. There are no money market funds, but they have to work with it. They have to invest it. And so sooner or later, this money will need to go back to the markets. And so it's very interesting um, to see this in combination with Wall Street, which is near its all time highs. Although it came back a little, of course, but if that money is put to work, there could be new all-time highs easily on Wall Street. So the question is, when will this money be brought back to the markets and will be reinvested? Very interesting to see if you look at the chart in uh, gold yesterday. There was, from a technical perspective, if you look at the trend following and Dow theory of uh, lower lows and lower highs, that series of the downtrend in gold has been intact since the year 2011. And at 1,307 US dollars per ounce in gold, there has been a technical resistance from a Dow theory perspective. And so we tackled that and we tried to break that resistance, but it didn't work. We fell back, it was, uh, gold was at 1,315 at the high, and it closed below 1,290. So that is a major reversal for gold and might be a major reversal for stocks. So very interesting to see what this day will bring. There's nothing really more to say at this point from my side. So watch the markets and uh, be aware of more volatility to, uh, still to come.